Well, I'm Norman Swan. Welcome to another Health Minute. Insomnia isn't fun. You toss and turn all night, you invent worries, you go over every conversation you've ever had, then eventually when you do fall asleep, you wake up in the morning feeling pretty ordinary. Well, luckily there are treatments which work and there's been a trial comparing them. Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, or CBT, is a proven treatment for insomnia. One of the things it does is dispel myths like you need eight hours sleep a night. The therapy process also helps teach you that the bed is only for sleeping and sex, if you can't sleep, get up and only go back when you're sleepy, limit your time in bed to sleeping time, get up at the same time every morning and only extend your time in bed as your sleeping improves. The treatment is a short-acting medication called Zolpidem. A non-drug company funded trial has compared CBT alone with CBT plus the sleeping pill for about six weeks. The CBT involved 90 minute group sessions followed by maintenance therapy with behavioural therapy alone or with the sleeping pill as needed. The line was that CBT worked in about 60% of the people, improving the time it takes to get to sleep, increasing the proportion of time you spend in bed sleeping and indeed the length of time in bed sleeping. Adding the sleeping pill only made a small difference and it worked best when in fact it was stopped at six weeks and the psychological therapy continued by itself. The messages are that if you have to take a sleeping pill, only do it for a short time. Less than two weeks of continuous use is what's recommended. And maintenance treatment with psychological therapy may be required for some people with severe insomnia. Otherwise, you might relapse. And I'm betting it's at 3 a.m.